Payman Z says Windows is really is really superior to desktop Linux. Linux is full of bugs. Okay. Linux is is free. <laughs> this is what it all boils down to. <laughs> so Payman Z says that Windows is so much better because Linux is full of bugs. Now, Payman gets paid. This from someone <laughs> who apparently has been living under a rock during the month of October 2018. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So let's think back to Windows Update Windows 1809. Oh, wow. What happened when 1809 came out? <laughs> it deleted people's files. So remember, Microsoft Windows now updates itself, and you can't stop it. So it literally just updates itself and you come back and all of a sudden it's oh look my computer's updated today your server went down because of it right people's files were deleted and then same month one week later microsoft fixed this bug and re-released the patch which three days after they released it they realized it was deleting files and so they pulled it they re-released it with a fixed version and hp computer users got a blue screen of death I want to work there. I feel so like they you can get, make mistakes, so no these, problem. So I have an HP computer, and, <laughs> and now all of a sudden I get to work, and my computer's just sitting there with a WDF violation. Well, what the heck does that mean? Right. This is Windows. I, it worked yesterday. I had all my stuff open. Now I've got a WDF violation. So it turns out Microsoft's new update caused a conflict of some sort, a crash with the... HP keyboard drivers. Right. What? It's crazy, actually. Back it up a little bit. So the, I'm just saying, Payman Z, because you said Windows is not buggy and, and Linux is. So let's back it up a little bit. Same thing. Let's look at that HP driver. How did that HP driver get in? <gasps> that HP driver came in previously in a Windows update. <laughs> <laughs> the very HP keyboard driver that is now causing HP computers to blue screen of death on boot, which means they cannot turn on their computers, just a blue screen. I'm just, just saying. Right. What I love is every news feed. So I get my like Google news feed in the uh -huh. morning and like almost every page in my articles is like how to undo the things that your window update has done. Like it's, oh. it's all like. See, but that can be dangerous. You've you got to be able to trust that the updates are safe, yeah. but we're losing trust have, in Microsoft. For exactly. Sure. People have lost their audio from this update. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's crazy the things that But have having happened. your files deleted? Okay, so that, now okay. let's look at the Linux side of things. Yeah. Years ago, years ago, it happened. A, a Linux update broke a bunch of people's bootloaders. There was a problem in the Grub bootloader and it broke the ability to boot the computer. It was fairly easy to fix, but you had to have another computer to be able to fix. get online and find the fix and get up and running. Right. Okay, so that was a problem. Linux has a different approach to Microsoft in that it's open source. What that means is it's a community-based thing. So if Sasha and I uh, could represent Linux for okay. just a moment. So you and I are Linux. the Linux development team. Okay. So I have shown up and I've said, okay, I'm going to add this update to Linux today. Okay. And then Sasha comes in and she notices that what I'm about to do is going to break something. What does she do? I say, oh, Robbie, that's going to break something. Uh-huh. And oh, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm going to fix that before we push it out. So now think about Linux as a thousand plus people right. doing exactly that. So... <clears throat> when an update is about to occur, it first goes through this process of over a thousand people in the community. These are not people who work for a particular company. These are thousands of people sure. who sure. are looking at it and saying, oh, that could actually cause a problem. It happened where um, one programmer tried to inject some malware into Linux, and the, the developers said, oh, someone's trying to inject malware. They removed that. They decommitted it on GitHub and removed it before it went out to computers. So it's a whole different approach, but I think if I was to look at Windows versus Linux with that perspective that was presented to us in this comment, right. I would have to give it to Linux, especially yes. here in October 2018. <laughs> yes. It has its flaws. Everything does. Windows does too. Linux, you may have trouble running certain things. Windows, I similarly have trouble running certain things. So it's really, you know, and what's thank you. that? Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment.
<laughs> Appreciate it very much. Okay, Charles Seal. Uh, Here's a good one. A pro Linux user. Yes. Says, I've been using Linux Mint 19 for several weeks now, and I have never been happier with an operating system. I've been developing for Linux servers for years, and I've been doing so on a Linux laptop using Red Hat and the KDE desktop, but I was never quite happy enough with it to make it my primary computer. So I stuck with the Mac. Oh, here's another end of the spectrum right here. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Recently, though, I bought a little uh, Meerkat from System76. This is a computer manufacturing company. Um, removed the Ubuntu uh, with the GNOME desktop um, distribution that came with it, uh, which I really didn't like. And I loaded Mint 19. I was blown away. I can do all the fun stuff and all the serious stuff on one computer, including all my web and database development, graphics, video editing, you name it. I think it's time to repurpose my Mac. That comes to us from Charles Seal. Now, I've yet to find a good video editor, one that meets my needs uh, on Linux. Right. And so I'll give, you know, Linux, fantastic. I use it for all my development. It's the best yeah. for development, hands down. I mentioned my vertical monitor. It's running Linux, and I've got Adam up on the screen 24-7, and uh, GIMP 2.10 up on the screen, running in the background or in the foreground, and that's where I do all of my, uh, all my coding, right. all of my web development, all of my software development, everything. The one thing that I have not found a happy place within Linux is the video editing. But that's okay. Exactly. I switch back and forth between Linux and Windows here and there exactly. as I need to because each has its place. 